teased. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make glass window panes for your WWE action figures. So, first of all, let's go ahead and get things out of the way, guys. If you have not watched the MDT Royal Rumble, the long-anticipated, highly anticipated, hyped for five months MDT Royal Rumble pay-per-view. You have to go check it out, guys. If you're a fan of our Pick Fed show, if you've watched, you know, Sold Out and Blackout and Money in the Bank, if you've watched any of MDT Live or Vindication, you need to go watch the MDT Royal Rumble, and it would mean a lot to me, guys. I put a ton of effort into it. I worked really, really hard on it. I think over the past two days, I literally sat in front of a computer for over 30 hours and edited that full show for you guys, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would please go check it out leave a comment leave a like tell me your thoughts and just tell me the overall feel of the show but on that show I've had multiple comments asking and I've been actually waiting to make this video because I didn't want to spoil the Royal Rumble I didn't want to you know show you guys this I wanted it to be a surprise at the Rumble that you guys saw these but it is these glass window panes guys I don't know if you've ever seen you know matches on the independent scene where it's you know the the glass panes and the death matches and the CZW and the, the crazy stuff that would happen in the independent matches with with glasses, with glass panes and light bulbs and all that good stuff. We've done multiple weapon tutorials already, but today I saved this one especially because we used these at the MDT Royal Rumble in the Fatal 4-Way Death Match, and that's as much as I'm going to say about that, but I'm going to show you today how to make those and what you can do to create them. So what we have here is basically you go to Walmart. I'm pretty sure every Walmart Walmart that exists in the in the entire United States of America, they have this exact thing. There's a 50 pack of clear, thin CD cases in some sort of part of Walmart. It should be in the electronic section or the CD section. You know, you buy the blank discs. Well, where they have the blank discs at, they have these clear CD cases, and they're very thin. They represent glass very well. They're in great scale with the figures. I mean, they look like a real glass pane. If you've ever seen, you know, they go on top of coffee tables, and they use them in death matches all the time. So what these are are essentially just CD cases, and what we do is we take them, and instead of... You you know, you know how it usually is in two pieces and you'll open it up and the one side has the circle and this side is the cover. You just separate it right here. There's like a little uh, notch on either side. You just separate it and bam, you have a glass pane for your WWE figures. Very, very simple. I'll pop up a picture of the... Actually, let me go ahead and grab it. They're called Slim CD Cases and they come in a big 50 pack and they look like this. This is what they look like originally. And what you do is you're just going to open it up like this and then right here at the top, you just separate it. Very easy to do. You just pull it forward like this. You like pull it this way and it separates at the other side and bam. What I do with this side, I literally just throw this part away or just toss it off to the side because you don't need the circle part unless you can think of a creative way to use it. And the other side is left for a glass pane and all you can do is let's see if we can create something real quick. Sorry, there's like freaking glass panes everywhere. It's like gonna shatter and freaking cut my hands all to pieces. But essentially what you would do, guys, is you would have, you know, one thing on one side, you'd have another thing on the other side. Let's take this table here, and you would just set it up like this in the middle, and then you could plant people through it. You know, you could use chairs as the bases or whatever, and then you would slam the wrestlers through it. But you don't have to, you know, if you slam something on this, it's not going to break, obviously. So what I do to show broken glass for the pick fed is I take a couple of these CD cases or the, the glass panes that we've made, and I pretty much shatter them. I legitimately shatter them. And then I use the broken piece. I put the broken pieces in a little baggie. So that way when you, you put the wrestler through it, all you have to do is dump this out in the spot. And then all you have to do is make it look like, you know, it was. it's sort of got some shape to it. Because, you know, when glass shatters, it's kind of got a little bit of a shape to it. But for the, for the realism part, I mean, it goes everywhere, guys. Like, let's be real. If you have a broken glass, it, like, shatters everywhere. And so I have these separate baggies because I don't want, I want it to be, you know, realistic. I don't want it to be, you know, just a bunch of piled up glass. You want it to look like one. So I separate them in different bags. Like this is one glass pane. 
then there's another glass pane like this, and they're differently shaped, you know, so they're not always the same. And they're kind of, when you break them, it's kind of scary, to be honest. Like, it makes a loud noise. It can actually hurt your hands. So if you're underage, I would highly recommend getting an adult to do this if you want to do this for your action figures or whatever. But you snap, I snap it in half, and then I take some scissors, and you can cut it up into smaller pieces. And then what you could do also, and I got this tip from Prime Wrestling. I don't know where the hell I put my salt, but wherever the, the glass is broken, you put the shards of glass that you see in this baggie. Here, I'll go ahead and dump it out a little bit so you guys can see. So if you have your shards of glass here on the table, you see the shards of glass like that, then you would take your salt shaker and you, you know, shake it out like that, and then it looks like little pieces, like tiny pieces of glass that you would see if you really shattered a glass pane scattered out everywhere, and it gives it a really realistic feel. It's kind of insane the way that it looks, but, um... That's a tip that I got from Prime Wrestling. He is the whole inspiration behind this and the enhancement of the Extreme Division on MDT Live. So that's pretty much it, how you make glass panes for your WWE figures, guys. You just get CD cases and, you know, you put them in the thing, you separate it, you put it there, you slam your wrestler through it. And another thing you could do, to be honest with you guys, you could probably cut it down the middle and maybe cut it in a jagged thing and then tape it together on one side and then have it where it can be breakaway and then you could tape it back together. But uh, for the pick fed, you know, I don't really need that because it's not, you know, live action. I'm not playing with my hands, I'm doing pictures. So I can make it look like somebody got slammed through a glass pane and there's, sh uh, you know, shattered glass everywhere. But that is pretty much it for today's tutorial weapons video. I know you guys enjoyed these a bunch. Maybe you guys learned something, maybe you can get some usage out of this. Again, if you have not watched the MDT Royal Rumble, guys, please, 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 please go check it out. Again, I put a ton of effort into it. Many, many, many man hours went into it, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would please go check it out for your boy and leave me a review, leave me a comment, something like that. But thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and go make yourself some glass paints for your WWE action figures, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.